Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today we return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having absolutely a fan freaking tastic day. Today we have on ourselves some of the best items and rarest items in the game right now on our head. If you guys don't remember, just last episode we went to the new farm type of event that came in update 1.1.3. We defeated Big Bill or Little Billy, whatever his name was, Link or whatever. You guys go check out that episode if you haven't yet. Action pack and shows off a lot of how we acquired these things but long story short today we're gonna test these puppies out and actually have a little bit of fun with them so with the beer hat over here looks like it is actually not that great of a hat it just looks like it's an awesome hat so bless up to that it is an absolutely awesome hat that we're gonna try and stick around for as long as possible but we also did acquire the barn key which was unfortunately broken there's a barn at the end of the event maybe we can acquire a real key maybe not who knows we're gonna keep on trying and the sack with rapeseed, something that's going to be required for the biodiesel for the gate up north to fire up the generator. And then after we do that, we're actually going to be paying a visit. Uh, actually, just right now, we're going to be heading on up north and going to try and do some repairs because we also got the very last of something that we needed very desperately. We acquired the last of the cogwheels that we needed. And actually, we might even be able to finish one of the most important repairs for the wall today, leaving us with one last thing to repair. But this is the screen that I wanted to go to originally uh there's actually a new recipe here that came we can't currently craft it but if you guys are over here it's level 27 the refining table which refines rapeseed and a biodiesel fuel so this is going to be a very valuable resource especially for us as we try and see what lies beneath the wall. So with that short little recap, let's go ahead and put some of these puppies away. And as awesome as the beer hat is, dear God, is it awesome. Uh, what is that? Ah, freaking Ornioli. Get out of here, Ornioli. Attacking me from the other side. No, no. All right, we got to murder this Ornioli. Uh, by the looks of it, the Winchester over here. Oh my God, why is he making those noises? The Winchester over here does just enough damage to mark this dude. So why don't we go ahead and uh, say hello to Mr. Ornioli. Hello! And goodbye, Ornioli. You can see the amount of durability that was lost off of this thing. Not that crazy. And you can see it's a lever action rifle. 40 damage, 1.4 attack speed. So all in all, looks like right around kind of at the general balance level of a shotgun. If you look at like in terms of like fire rate and damage, it averages out to be relatively close to each other. But uh, the thing is, this thing probably has way more range. And it's just so awesome, dude. A freaking Winchester? Like, that's dope. So we're definitely going to be using that. So uh, the goal, we're also going to try and do the event, the barn event, stealthfully. That's something that we have yet to accomplish and something that I 100% want to try and do. I don't know if we're going to have time to do that today, but 100% that is on the to-do list. And I'm thinking maybe next episode that something we'll go ahead and attempt to do. But with all of that to consider, I think that we also had maybe a couple of extra cogwheels here because uh, I think those three I, I, I we had like we got 10 from a box that we opened we got three from the event itself and I think somewhere around here we actually have three more cogwheels which might be just enough for us to finish this in one fell swoop I also think that we're going to be needing a stack of that and I forget what the third item is that we need maybe it's nuts and bolts actually I do think it is nuts and bolts I don't know if we have extras but we should be able to have some over here in our inbox probably at some point I hope so do, do we have some notes somewhere do we? All right, we got 83. That should be plenty for us to grab when they are necessary. So without further ado, oh, also check this out. We are uh, a one Velociraptor away. God dang it. We are one Velociraptor away from finishing up his quest. So things are going relatively well, except for the fact that I got to go and take a midterm in about an hour and 15 minutes. But I'm trying to get this episode recorded for you guys and uploaded as soon as possible. And there is the event I was talking about. Mad Dogs Farm. Armed people on the farm location nearby they may be guarding something valuable they are indeed i got to the end couldn't open up the barn hopefully that becomes openable and we can actually get a key and we'll see how it goes if we try and do that stealth that's probably gonna be a hell of a challenge but uh today i do want to just try and have some fun with this new gun that we acquired specifically from that event you do have to kill little billy for that though little billy is probably that was that area was probably the biggest challenge in the game so far for us little billy isn't the most op person but the thing about him is that he has like an army of mad dogs along with him and those things oh buddy 
they go to work and it does not result in good things for us so let's head on over here try and enjoy this uh try and kill that last velociraptor and supposedly they're gonna be changing how the wall works or something along those lines uh, they teased in like one of the game news such game update thingamabobs that uh, like you're not gonna be able to get help anymore when you're doing the wall stuff so i don't know what that's all about but we're gonna go ahead and hopefully i, I think we actually paid a pit stop here before and i think it's fine but let's just make sure to find out hello my dudes yeah we can still give them weapons which is great and they got their wrenches and this dude's actually on uzi as his secondary funnily enough <laughs> so uh, with those all of those things put together here's where the biofuel that we get from the rape seed will be put into we're gonna need two for the electric generator nothing too crazy but still in terms of, what we got like three rape seed from just one event we don't know what the conversion rate's gonna be maybe it's gonna be like oak and last day on earth and it's gonna be like three to one output so we're gonna have to see as we move forward but the big thing that i want to move forward and do is gonna be this electrical not this electrical panel i believe it was the elevator yes yes although that is the issue is that we can't even finish it in one fell swoop we are gonna have to do it in two swoops but we can actually do it and end up perfectly well doing it if we do it with normal and hard so honestly because i just want to mess around play around with the new gun and try to have a fun time we're gonna do normal today and the next time we're gonna cap that thing off with a little bit of hard mode so uh i just gotta grab some of those nuts from our inventory should be good to roll from there and exciting things going from there. But I seriously hope you guys are an absolutely a very fantastic day. Don't know if I wish that upon y'all yet. If I didn't, I sincerely apologize. If I did, I apologize for accidentally wishing it upon you a second time. But hey, uh, it's, it's better than nothing. You know, I mean, two times is better than one even. So positives are there. But let's begin hard mode. Boop. Oh, I love using this thing. Why don't we try and figure out what the range is on one of these shots? Someone should run at us. Ooh, Velociraptor. Ooh, see ya. I want to figure out what the range is. And that's the 30th Velociraptor we had to kill, so that's really good. I just want to figure out what the range is on this thing. Like, what's what's the furthest that we can shoot someone? It, it actually feels like it starts relatively far. Ah, it's got some solid range to it. I don't know. What's, what's the longest we can aggro someone? Oh, actually, dude, this has really good range on it. It just like it didn't, it wasn't like the enemy's names weren't appearing for a little bit. Why don't we let them come towards us here? Oh, that's a boss, Ornioli. Ooh, Winchester. Ooh, Winchester. Ooh, Winchester rain. I don't. I, I love this thing. It's almost like a shotgun. Just the way it even shoots, it looks like a shotgun, but it has crazy range. Super amazing damage. I'm a fan of this gun, dude. This gun is dope, but let's not waste it. That is currently one of a kind to us. We do not have more of those. Hopefully, we acquire more. That's definitely on the to-do list. Like, I'm going to try and do that event stealthfully, and after we succeed doing it stealthfully, we are going to try and take down Little Bill again, because Little Bill is very intimidating, but hey, I think that we can ultimately come out on top, and this vector is so great at mowing these dudes down, dude. I love this. I love it from the bottom of me heart. These Ornioli's gotta go, and these dudes are just the wrench squad over here. That's exactly what I need. How, how are the repairs going? Almost done. Marvelous. And then the elevator will be repaired. We've already repaired. We repaired the wall a long time ago. So all we gotta do after this? Aw. I lost my shirt. It's all right. We came out on top after that. We just got to finish up the electricity, which is going to take four more runs. But the good thing about the electricity is it's a lot cheaper to get done. It takes like blue tape, transistors, and rope versus the insanity of taking these over there. Those uh, cogwheels, I think they're called. Yeah, cogwheels are so much more rare than the rest of the things, at least in my experience. Thank you for the trophies there. And kindly. My dude, I appreciate the help. What about you? Ooh, he's got some thingy-mabobs too. I'll go ahead and take those. Don't need the rest of what you dropped in. Marvelous service, boys. I, I, I salute you. Kind of. That's more of a wave. You know what I mean, though. I, there's no salute um, emotion emote. So just, just take that out. Take that. Take it out with us. I salute you. <laughs> uh, but we do still have some time to spare here, and. Well, Mad Dog's Arena is kind of on the way home, so I don't know about you guys, but I am very, very tempted to head on over there. Although, mm, here's the thing. I kind of want to go home and see what the quest ends up being. You guys know the quest I'm talking about? The quest that we set out to do with Velociraptors? I would actually very much so love to do that. Uh, why don't we try and do that at the end of today's episode? Because 
all we're gonna be doing is shooting people here in the battle royale arena and like i did bring a ton of dog tags anyway so you know i mean when in rome when there are dog tags in your pocket might as well enter an arena of doom and death <laughs> So we're gonna go and see how that goes. Last time, we were the back-to-back -back champions, dude. That was crazy. Can we repeat our amazing luck this time? Hopefully. Hopefully, that would be amazing. You know why? Because then we get better prizes, and I like prizes. And ooh, Majestic over here. He dies. Thank you for the dog tag, big guy. Appreciate that. Ooh, you got a, a meat-beating hammer over there, too. You do your thing, but here we got Jekyll. Hello, Jekyll. Am I ready to go to the arena? I don't know. And hide. Ooh, I would love. Ooh, I would love, love some more of them snipers from that first place prize. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's see what this place contains for us. Probably nothing but lots of pain and suffering. Why? Because that's exactly what we're used to do. Just nothing but pain and suffering. Uh, although maybe we'll be the ones dishing it out instead of receiving it. I don't know. Like, we had the back-to-back, -back, which was really great luck, but before that, our luck has been so awful with these. I'm not entirely- Oh, actually, hold on. I need a shirt, dude. I'm, I'm too- I'm still in, like, normal mode, where it's like, oh, a poopy shirt. Don't need to pick that up. No, 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 no. I'm currently naked with nothing. I need to pick everything up. That's a nicer shirt, by the way. Uh, number one priority, though, we gotta get a gun in our hands. Weapons work, too. But it gets kind of poopy, because if you find someone with the gun early on, it's kind of GG, boys. And, ooh, that's a... Actually, is that nicer? Seven, six, no, let's equip that. Get some agua, maybe. Hopefully we find ourselves a backpack, like Dora the Explorer. Ooh, I'll take that instead. Goodbye to these shirts. Don't need those. I think I hear footsteps. No, I just... Oh, I do hear footsteps! I don't think I heard footsteps. I think I was just a lucky guess. I see ya! Big Tiaos, can you drop me a backpack, by the way, dude? Thanks for the pants. I needed some of those. Nice boots. I'll take those. Uh, let's use up a bandage. We still got some water, but that's not what I'm worried. Hold on, did I grab this already? Okay, just making sure. Uh, oh, we got someone coming. Let's take him out before he does any damage on us. Ah, uh, he got a hit in. And he still doesn't have a backpack. God dang it, Bobby. I don't even know if your name is Bobby, but I made it, Bobby. Our luck is going so poopy, dude. This is rough. Like, at least we got the gun to kind of get us through the early game and a couple of band-aids, but we are not looking good for the end game right now. Like, medical-wise, okay, we keep on... Yes, oh, no, 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 no. You, you, my friend, you gotta go. You gotta go. I got the better gun here. You gotta go, too, amazing. Don't stab me. Please stop yourself. Okay, thank you. You're done, too. Uh, all right, these two dudes are done, so... Ooh, a vector on him. We already got the backpack. Let's put those puppies on. I think those boots are better. Uh, that food, by the way. Let's eat that and heal up. A little bit of that double whammy action. And ooh, the loot just got way, way better. Oh, especially because this gun is 100% about to break. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, get out of here. Please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Marvelous. You are the one that is hurt. Hey, that Uzi's better quality and a better weapon than the Vector. Very good stuff. I mean, loot-wise, as long if uh, I, I say we just try and lie and wait. Six people left, four band-aids, first aid kit, solid armor. Why don't we switch on over to this? That other one's about to break. Ooh, this dude's sneaking. Get out of here. No sneaky sneaking. No sneaky sneaking. Please drop me some medical supplies, though. Uh, yeah, baby. The medical supplies are looking good. I uh, like what I'm saying, boys. <laughs> this is going well. Suspiciously well. Too well. Some might even say, nah, it, it, it could go Weller. Like, hey, if you want to go a little bit Weller game, I'd, I'd appreciate that too. What you got? As long as this guy doesn't have a shotgun, we're in great shape. Get back here. Get over here. Ooh, nice little gun. Actually, some food too we can cop. And this is going to be the final circle. I think it's about time we swap over to a better weapon. Uh, Yeah, at this point, it's just the waiting game. We got four band-aids after the next dude we kill. We might want to switch over, but I think this should be enough of a gun to take out the rest of the opponents. Ooh, great start. Just please don't have, like, something too powerful. Ooh, see you later. <gasps> we got another dude. We got another dude. What you got? He's got a shotgun. Not good enough, my dude. Not good enough. And then let's use the scar. I think that's even better. Yeah, it is even better. Oh, wait, is it? No, I think this is better. Yeah, that's 17. Let's equip that for the final kill. Hopefully this will be enough. Oh, please be enough. Please be enough. Victory! Back to back to back. Boys and girls, that's three in a row. We're the three-time, we just three-peated, baby. Mm. 
Things are looking millhouse. I don't think we can end off on that note. I think we gotta head on back into there. We need to go and give it another go. Although it sucks, they need to fix this 100%. This has to get fixed. Whenever you die, or whenever you don't die, whenever you win, you, like, you're still hurt when you get out of the arena. You're still hungry. You're still thirsty. Kind of poopy. Should try and work on that. Jurassic Survival Devs. Let's try and uh, fix that up. You know what I'm saying? Let's try and eat up one more of those. Get our health relatively full. And back to the arena. We go. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is going awesome. And then we also get to do a little bit of an opening at the end of this episode with what we have acquired. Also, sorry, I'm a little bit quieter in this Jurassic Survival video. I'm sorry it took such a while to get this Jurassic Survival video out. Long story short, just so many games, so many videos I'm wanting to make, and so much stress with midterms this week has been popping up that it was just kind of uh, my, my week was very hectic but now we back gonna try and upload it every couple of days as per usual and uh, keep it gucci mcswaggins boys and girls okay i don't actually need those i don't know why i picked one of okay don't need that either all right hey i could go with that not too bad not too bad uh, we got a nice little cluster of houses down south. Let's go this way. Let's see what it's got for us. And let's see if we can four-peat, dude. Never before done. The best I've ever done is a back-to-back -back twice. If we manage the four-peat, I don't want to jinx it. Ooh, I don't want to jinx it. But if we get medical supplies and a couple more guns, it's looking... Ooh, it's looking very possible, boys and girls. Ow, don't punch me. This guy doesn't even, he doesn't even have a melee weapon. He doesn't even have anything. He didn't drop anything. <laughs> I've never seen someone 100% naked go after me like that. What's the... Okay, so th that helmet's actually better. Let's replace that. Uh, uh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Please tell me I can kill you first. Okay, I can kill you first. We have no medical supplies. Please tell me you had something medical. Please, my dude. Uh. Okay, we got the backpack. That's good, at least. All right. Let's roll with that. Um. Ah. Uh, uh, this is just a tough, this is a toughie. This is a toughie. All right, we just gotta try and get another house at this point. Uh, we wanna start moving towards the circle too. This is gonna be a very high stress scenario. I don't like how this is going. This is a little bit of a doozy. This is not bueno, please. Medical supplies. I don't even care about guns. We just got, uh, that's nice pants though. Oh no, I can't get distracted by the pants. I already have pants like that. Okay, for real, where are the medical supplies? Bless, bless, we needed that desperately. Okay, less panic. More normalness. We, got, we actually we have a lot of pants of all sorts. Some dude killed some other dude. Dude, I feel like that rarely happens. Usually we have to kill most people, but it's it's kind of nifty when it does go down like that. Oh, let's make sure to heal before he kills us. And he's running. Uh, of course he is. All right, well it's all right. The zone owl is gonna narrow around him, so we could try and finesse him a little bit. Let's see if we can chase him back that way. Please finish him. Yes. That was a bad angle to run at, my boy. Nice gun, though. Ooh. Cutting it close, especially with the lack of medical supplies. Oh, we got a hell of a... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. I think we might be able to outrun him, though. Maybe. Maybe. Let's just kind of... Ow. Oh, you got one shot off on us. Let's see if maybe we can hide in a bush and lose this guy, because if we can't, things aren't going to be looking good. Uh, yeah, let's just try and use some bush cover here. And maybe this will... We just have no medical supplies, dude. We gotta go to the big guns. If he approaches us, we just need to kill someone and pick up their medical supplies. And hopefully just wait this out until, like, you know, they kill each other. Because <laughs> we're not in a situation to kill people. I had to jinx it, man. We got, like, no medical supplies. Well, we, we did get some. But then everything at the poop. We're down to five. There's hope. There's not a lot of it. But there is hope. Oh, down to four. Jesus, we might actually get a top three finish. I uh, There's no way... I don't think we can get a top two, though. Uh, no way. One is not even possible. That dude's going to kill me with one shot of whatever gun he has. Please? Please? Okay, very nice. I heard a door open, I think. I'm hearing doors open. <gasps> We're going to get a top three. Dude, get finessed. Hey, I'm not even mad, dude. I'm not, if we get a top two, I'm going to be so stoked. I'm going to be ridiculously stoked. Is this stone good? Oh, the zone's going to change here in a sec, though. Please, can you guys kill each other? Oh, no! Oh! <gasps> no! Did you guys see the health on that guy? No! <laughs> Honestly, I can't even be salty. We were so close in the worst situation possible to just outliving and surviving the Battle Royale Circle. Dear God.
That's crazy. Yo, I'm I'm stoked though. We didn't get the four peat, but we still got something absolutely amazing in the form of a second place finish, despite having 30 health and no medical supplies with like six survivors left. That that that's awesome. So second place, so you maybe make the luck even better and we got a gun. That, that's all I can ask for. I don't even care. If there's a chance at a melee weapon, I'm just happy if we don't get the melee weapon. So that right there, mini Uzi, boom, shakalaka. That's effective. Why don't we open this up and maybe get the sniper rifle? It's a shotgun. Still, that shotgun is going to be super useful and super awesome. And this has been a super productive and amazing episode. We got to use the Winchester, mess around with that, wear the beer hat, get a couple... We, uh, one victory and one very close victory that we had no business absolutely zero business being that close so I'm not even salty and dude this is just sick I'm happy I hope that you guys are happy let's see what prize we get from Hunter Kane back at home and I don't know per snaps we start walking over to the barn we can't do that today especially because I don't even have the time to do that it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode all in all just because I really do need to start sprinting off to, uh, well, the test itself and also some last second studying slash cramming. So for real, wish me a little bit of luck with that one, boys and girls. But hunt again. Hello, schmello, schmello. Big guy, how do you do? I got a little quest for you. Oh, you just need some band-aids, do you? Oh. All right. Hey, hunter again. I got you on the bandage hookup, my dude. All we gotta do is find, like, a couple of band-aids here. And I think... Okay, I, I, I know I have a couple of band-aids. This will be another easy quest. I don't know what we're getting as a prize for this one, but still. Advancing the quest line, baby! That's all that we need. I got bandages for Hunter Kane, baby! Where you at, big boy? Where art thou, Mr. Hunter? Oh, there you are. I, I thought you were the purple flower for a second. I'm cray cray. There you go. Thank you for that. And all you need is 30 dillos down the drain. Luckily for you, when we go and do some more stuff up north at the wall, tons of dillos will be attacking us and we will acquire a new set of the reinforced hunter's boots, aka the most powerful and strongest boots in the game. Although in Jurassic Survival, I don't think that boots give you armor. Don't quote me on that. But I think they just affect your speed. So the fastest boots in the game, but still. And hopefully we can progress the rest of these quests. Because this quest line is a lot more doable. It's half as long as the old one. And uh, we haven't had to do anything too crazy. So I'm excited to continue making some headway on that. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up for this episode of Dragon's Five. I hope that you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to like button. Make sure you're subscribed for more to come with that notification bell. Hit. And make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. How excited you are for what is to come and hopefully do. I'd love to hear guys' ideas for what's coming in 1.1.4. Like the next update, could this finally be the update that opens up the wall? Actually, now that I think about it, I think it makes sense for maybe 1.2 to open up the wall. But who knows? We, there are still a couple of things we got to do here or there. Nonetheless, Jurassic Survival is heading in an awesome direction that I can't wait to continue exploring with you guys. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.